Asthenozoospermia, or reduced sperm motility, is a common cause of male infertility and affects up to 40% of infertile men. Complete asthenozoospermia, that is, 100% immodal spermatozoa in the aculate, is reported at a frequency of 1 of 5,000 men. In another retrospective study, 18.71% of infertile men had asthenozoospermia. Asthenozoospermia decreases the sperm quality and is therefore one of the major causes of infertility or reduced fertility in men. In this video, we will talk about this disease, asthenozoospermia, by answering these questions. What is asthenozoospermia? What causes asthenozoospermia? How is it treated? Is it possible to get pregnant with asthenozoospermia? What is asthenozoospermia? Asthenozoospermia is an infertility condition in men, wherein a man produces sperms with low motility. Motility is the ability of the sperm to move forward swiftly and in a straight line. It is an essential requirement for natural conception. Reduced sperm motility decreases the chances of the sperm to successfully fertilize the egg in the female reproductive tract. World Health Organization Manual Edition V mentions that a sample is considered to have asthenospermia when the progressive motility is less than 32% and the total sperm motility is less than 40%, the total motility being the sum of progressive and non-progressive motility. What causes asthenozoospermia? There are several causes of asthenozoospermia. Here are some of the causes mentioned below. Inflammation. If you have any inflammatory disease in your sperm duct, prostate gland, or in any other parts of your reproductive organ then this will result in low sperm motility. These diseases have some microorganisms that will directly affect your sperm count as well as your sperm motility. It will also reduce the speed of traveling of your sperms and its ability to fertilize the egg. Varicosal this is a condition in which the veins of your scrotum become enlarged. This is one of the major causes of asthenozoospermia among men. Abnormal semen liquefaction. This condition reduces the spaces inside your sperm ducts and obstructs the movements and the activity of your sperms. Abnormalities in chromosomes. If you have abnormalities in your sex chromosomes, then will result in affecting your sperm count and sperm motility. This is a major reason for male infertility. Immunological components. There are many antibodies that may act as a barrier in the movements of your sperms in different ways. Many studies have shown the presence of these anti-sperm antibodies around the tails of your sperm that stops them from fertilizing the egg. Lifestyle factors. If you're following an unhealthy lifestyle and diet then this can be a great reason for your low sperm motility. Examples of bad lifestyle habits are regular smoking, consumption of alcohol, lack of exercise, unhealthy diet, and usage of drugs that lowers your testosterone levels. Also, if you are in a profession like driving, horse riding that men who have jobs like driving or horse riding that mostly affects your pelvic area then these can be a major cause of asthenozoospermia. Can I conceive naturally with asthenozoospermia? Even though the chances of natural conception decrease in the presence of asthenozoospermia, natural conception can occur occasionally. How's it treated? The treatment of asthenozoospermia depends on the cause. They include taking supplements like selenium and vitamin E, adopting a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet and regular exercise. The presence of bacteria and pus cells can be treated with a course of antibiotics. Whilst surgical correction of the varicosal can improve sperm motility. Frequent aculation and avoiding long periods of abstinence also help. Sometimes sexual intercourse may cause an infection to spread from one partner to another. Use of appropriate systemic and local antibiotics for treating the female partner suffering from vaginal infection is useful. Processing of sperm through different techniques like swim up, density gradient, and microfluidics at the time of intrauterine insemination can be useful. When the motility is very low ICSI can be a good solution. In ICSI the sperm is directly injected into the oocyte hence completing the seven steps of fertilization in the laboratory.
Thank you for listening to all the information we want to introduce to you in this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe for the, he info channel.